So today's the day we finally get our puppy. He's a tired boy. He's never been out this way before. You've never seen this bit of the world, have you? I think I might be a little bit allergic to him. <laughs> He's making me cry every time I look at him because he's just so cute. He's a snoozy boy. He's a snoozy boy. He's gorgeous. I think he's had loads of funny games because obviously his, pet, his mums and dads have been, all the other mums and dads have been to pick him up, so he's had lots of fun. So he's, uh, he's a bit chilled, snooze, isn't he? he's very chilled. I mean, chilled. I, can't, I can't look at him again or else I'll just ball. Look at him. There we go. Sleep in his little bed. He loves his bed. So there you go. He clings onto you when you hold him. Didn't he? So that's his little hold. <laughs> Welcome to your first vlog, Cap. So it's been about 30 hours since we picked Cap up, ish. Last night, the first night was a little bit unsettled. Um, we took it in shifts on the sofa with him because uh, he hadn't been to the toilet yet. Because uh, what we didn't want is his first time to be in his cage, in his bed. But uh, we stayed up, looked after him and he did it outside in the morning, which was great. He's more than happy to be in his crate. He'll happily take him off to the crate. So he kind of did maybe two hours of sleep in the crate, killed up in a little ball, and then he just get out, he just hear his little pit pat on the floor, take him out for the toilet. But the weather up here is wild. Our, our weather it floods everywhere in the UK, but tonight and last night it's just blowing hooly. So Cap is not a big fan of going out in the rain. He stands and looks at you thinking, are you mad? Um, so we've got coats by the door and shoes by the door and it's just a quick hustle out. So I think he's slowly starting to realise that the quicker we have the toilet, the quicker we can come back in again and get warm. Because he's a bit, I think he's a bit of a, a creature of comfort at the minute. He quite enjoys I mean, he's just ridiculous right now, isn't he? Yeah, we were trying not to let him on the sofa initially. We were trying to let him um, just use his crate. So every time he wanted a nap, go in the crate and lie down. And he was great at that until I broke that rule. <laughs> and um, I knew it was going to be you. Uh, he was knackered and I was knackered and we both fell asleep on the sofa and then we're going to his... close the crate door tonight close okay. shut his ears we don't want him to hear that but the crate door is going to be shut we're going to start helping him realize that there is a night time and there is a day time and there is a time for play and there's a time for sleep we're trying not to treat train him as well so we've been recommended by his breeder who's fantastic a good dog breeder in the area um, and he's highly recommended for us to try not to treat train him so we want him to basically do something right because it's the right thing to do so it's a lot of praise for the good things and a lot of ignoring for the not so good things. So far, he's actually not really made many wrong choices. He's doing quite well. Um, but he's responding quite a lot to the whole praise and cuddles. I think I've, I think he's realising that he gets away a lot more with things with John than he does with me. So I'm only off work for two days since we got Cap. We got him on Sunday, I get Monday and Tuesday off. Because after that, it'll just be after work and weekends. Mm -hmm. Whereas Emma's get the full week off and works a lot more. Um, flexible so she can spend a lot more time with Cap and he'll need that in the early days so although Emma's being firm she's setting the ground rules a lot better. So so far so good on the puppy front everything is going well we're very much in love we're hoping to get maybe a weekly video out of Cap doing something fun and exciting. Um, he is going to be well loved well looked after and spot yeah, rotten. Spot rotten. <laughs> yeah.